Today I wanted to do a first impressions review on the new Inmotion V10F. This is the latest electric unicycle from Inmotion. It is about $1,600 in this F configuration. It has about a 60 mile range and a full battery. Top speed of 25 miles an hour. And it has some cool new features, uh, some things I like about it, some little quirks that I'm not so sure about. And uh, really just a lot to cover on this wheel. Put about 100 miles on this so far and kind of just wanted to do uh, a video on what it's been like to live with. So first of all, the first thing you'll notice is that it is beautifully finished. You have these great, big, solid, and nicely gripped platform pedals that are definitely a big upgrade from the Solo Wheel 3 or Inmotion V8. And the next thing you notice is this massive, wide tire. Uh, it really, really makes a big difference in riding comfort and uh, just overall handling. And this wheel is just a, it's a nice premium product. If you've been rocking a V8 or Solo Wheel 3 or a King Song 14D or something, and you're looking for just a little bit more of an upgrade, this is a really good wheel for someone who's looking for something that's a little bit better at long distance cruising. And uh, think of this as like the large SUV or the Cadillac of electric unicycles. It, uh, it does a really good job of just uh, eating up the miles. So as you can see, there's just a little bit of a, a, a place to lean the wheel when you rest it. Honestly, it's not very stable. Uh, I wish they would make it a little bit larger because it's basically the same size as the Inmotion V8's uh, resting platform. Similar noises, noises when you power it up. Great headlight, really bright at night. Uh, check out my review, my night video on this that I posted a couple weeks ago uh, for some night riding impressions. Uh, it's a really nice bright headlight, which makes a big difference. Um, and we have this slightly controversial uh, handle. And there's been some negative feedback on this in the last, uh, last few weeks on this wheel from various reviewers and, and riders. Um, the more I ride it though, the more I get used to it. Yeah, it feels a little bit cheap. I think the, re the reason Inmotion uh, made this so loose is so that it was easy to put up and, and take down. It's not like the suitcase style wheel, but it does allow for more battery space and more range, which I guess is a trade-off. Um, in practice, wheeling this around the grocery store or the shops isn't any more difficult than any other electric unicycle. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier, but um, it's tedious to carry up steps or to put it in the car um, just because of its weight. But in actual practicality, this is great to lean up against surfaces. So if I were to take it here, and let's say I'm leaning it against the counter to pay, it's very easy and it just stays. It's nicely balanced. It's not gonna move or anywhere or freak out. Um, so in practice, it actually works quite well. The more I use it, the more I'm okay with it. Uh, another gripe that people have noted is the charge port can be a little bit difficult to access. And it is, but it loosens up the more you use it. And also, uh, it was designed to provide a watertight seal, and it does that. And you don't really need to charge this thing a lot. It has 60 miles of range at a full charge, and that's a lot of riding. So, what were my first thoughts on this when getting onto it? So, right off the bat, um, I noticed that there wasn't quite as much off the line torque as I was expecting. Um, it's definitely powerful, but right off the bat, it's not quite as quick as I would have thought. It feels really solid, but it also feels heavy underneath you. You have a great amount of stability with these platforms and a lot more leverage to kind of control the wheel because of where the pads rest on your shins. It's really very, very comfortable over bumps, on longer distances. Personally, I like to run this with a little bit lower tire pressures than I would normally with a 16 inch wheel um, and treat it a little bit more like an 18 inch wheel. And it really provides a lot more ride comfort and uh, just overall ease uh, over longer trips and longer journeys. And that's really where this wheel shines is on the longer commutes. So if you live in an area where, let's say, your commute to work is 10 miles or 15 miles, this is kind of the ideal wheel for you. If you live in a tight city environment, uh, braking performance on this isn't quite good enough to come to a stop if you really need it. It's not quite as responsive. Um, it's good on bumps, good on potholes, but 
Uh, I would be a little bit leery to ride this in the in the city just because its braking performance isn't awesome. Let's test that right here. So up to about 20 miles an hour, hard on the brakes. You can actually very pretty easily over lean this when leaning back. And um, it just feels heavier, but it gets the job done. We did a braking test uh, and it was, it was maybe about three feet beyond the Inmotion V8 or the Solar Wheel 3. For a little bit, let's take a look at the app here. Let's find some shade and I can show you guys um, just kind of some of the functionalities of this app. It's a really nice app, it's well done. Uh, they've had enough time to kind of dial all of this in. And uh, we'll do a little off-road test here too. Pretty comfortable on the gravel. Nice clearance too. I've never had any problems with bottoming out the pedals on this. It really does a good job, so, okay. So looking at the application, it says I've got 56 remaining miles. Today I've uh, put on you know a decent amount of miles, maybe about six, seven miles, and uh, I'm at 91% battery. So I would say, I would say about a good 60 miles range uh, with a full battery, and uh, it fluctuates a little bit, but it stays pretty true to what your actual range is. You've got a nice big speedometer here. You can uh, turn on and off the headlight by swiping up, and um, you can have a little horn by swiping down. Not sure if there's anyone who'd really use that. Uh, you have to turn the volume up quite a bit to, to achieve that, and uh, the volume is pretty loud. Uh, that's one complaint that I do have about this is the volume controls are a little bit rudimentary, um, and you can't seem to adjust the warning volume when you hit 25 miles an hour. It's super loud and attracts everyone's attention around you, and it's kind of scary. You do have a footboard sensitivity, which just seems like an arbitrary number that you can adjust. I like it kind of in the middle somewhere. You can put it stiff, you can put it a little bit softer. Basically just kind of affects the response of the vehicle. You can set your speed, standby time, uh, lighting effects, which are just a little bit different for this V10F. Good, pretty good on the app. Um, doesn't seem to have any glitches or faults, and InMotion has been pretty good about running updates the last few weeks. I'm not sure if they've introduced uh, iPhone X support yet um, with the swiping, but uh, I don't have an iPhone X, so I'm not really good to, uh, to review on that. So, And see how it feels on uh, the grass. I, I'm going to be doing a, a complete off-road test on this, um, but wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of uh, just what it's like just really quickly here. So it's pretty stable. Um, there's a lot of clearance from this tire, and uh, it really does a nice job of soaking up the bumps with that larger wheel. Let's get back on the pavement here. Let's talk a little bit about riding dynamics. So InMotion did a lot of work to just kind of basically create a nice center of gravity for this wheel and make it so that when you're carving turns, there's a, very, there's a lot of balance. And uh, it almost feels like your feet are very centered over the wheel and inboard instead of outboard. There's not a lot of wobble side to side. It's very stable at high speeds and um, it's very nice to carve around. I think um, they really did a good job nailing the dynamics of this. It feels pretty agile and pretty usable. Uh, it's very easy to ride slowly and accurately through tight areas. Uh, it just falls a little bit short on off-the-line acceleration and braking performance. Uh, but otherwise, it's really, really good for uh, just maneuvering. I love the way this handles bumps and potholes. It's very stable at speed. You can comfortably cruise in this wheel at about, I would say 18, 19, 20 miles an hour. And the fact that you have that extra power to give you that burst of speed up to 23, 24, 25 is really very nice. 
you know, let's say you're riding on a bike path and you want to pass a cyclist who's on their speed bike and they're going about, you know, usually cruising at 18, 19 miles an hour and you just want to show them what's up, you can do it. The InMotion V10F has the power. And uh, you don't necessarily need it, you don't use it all the time, but it's good to have and uh, it's fun. And honestly, I wouldn't really want to go much faster than 25 miles an hour on one of these. Definitely want to be wearing full face head protection and, and wrist guards and elbow pads and knee pads and stuff like that. One thing I do in, in, you know, while we're talking about safety, one thing I do appreciate about InMotion, whether they've done this with this wheel, is that uh, they really have gone to lengths to create some redundancy and a lot of safety in uh, how this wheel operates. So basically, you know, if one board fails, another one will kick in and create seamless power to the, to the wheel from the batteries. And I, I think that's important. It's really been overbuilt and over-engineered to be a safe wheel to ride over a long, um, a long time. I think, uh, you know, even when the battery gets a little bit low, uh, it gets a little bit more conservative with its power output. And um, I think, you know, it just shows that rider safety is really an important uh, consideration for InMotion. And, uh, I like that. I like that idea. And, you know, I would like to have a little bit more power here and there, and they could probably squeeze a little bit off the line, but, um, you know, really safety has been a main focus of this V10F, and um, I appreciate that. So, anyway, guys, on that note, I think that pretty much covers a little bit of everything on this wheel. It's a, it's a really, really nice overall package. It's not without its flaws, it's not perfect. Um, but it depends on your use. If you're going to be using this as something that uh, is going to be a little bit more of a commuter, a long distance cruiser, you really can't go wrong with this. If you're looking to upgrade from maybe uh, a Solo Wheel 3 or a V8 or you know, a smaller 14 or, si or 16 inch wheel, uh, this is a really pretty good package. Availability on this is a little bit tough right now. Um, I think InMotion.com has some updates on like what you can expect as far as when to get this wheel. Um, but of course the sooner you order, the sooner you're going to get it, but it might be a month or two out. And uh, just wanted to update you guys on that as of filming this review that uh, availability might be just a little bit, uh, a little bit longer than normal, but it is a new product and that's kind of just what happens. So um, I'm hoping that InMotion will do something to kind of tighten up that handle a little bit. I think that was a compromise that they made, uh, but it just kind of, I think it cheapens the feel a little bit. It's not a huge deal in practice, uh, but it is something that I would like to see them address. And the charge port seems to loosen up a little bit over time. Uh, that just comes with use. But otherwise, this is a really, really nice package. I, I love the ergonomics of it. The riding dynamics are really good. And um, they've just done a good job putting this together. It's a beautiful package to it. It's a, it's a very aesthetically pleasing and good looking wheel. And uh, it's, it rides as well, as good as it looks. Love that bigger tire. I think this is definitely um, a turning point for electric unicycles where I like to start seeing a little bit more rider comfort, a little bit more so compliance, and uh, this is a step in that right direction. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. We'll be putting up some more videos on this in the coming weeks. Um, and I was out in Minneapolis with my buddy Preston and we were filming off-road tests, braking tests, comparisons on this, on this wheel, and uh, he's got one as well. So uh, we'll be doing some more videos, but for now I just wanted to get this out and uh, let you guys know what my thoughts are on this first 100 miles of the new V10F. Uh, in motion, just full disclosure, in motion did send this to me to review and uh, spend some time with and make some videos on. There's an affiliate link in the description if you're thinking about picking one up uh, and you want to support the channel, click on that link and purchase yours from there. And uh, until then, enjoy guys. We'll be uh, we'll make some more videos here in the coming weeks. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you later.